And now combined with all of our businesses, we're making well over $5 million a year. It's just unreal. My goal was to make $100,000 a year. There's weeks that I make over $200,000 a week. It is like bananas. <laughs> what is developing leaders? That's what it is. That's the key. Yeah. And I, so, so give, give us a, you know, maybe some tips on what, what are things that you do to develop leaders? Because a lot of people, you just said something about becoming a picture. And I think a, a lot of times what happens is people want to learn. They want to get what they can for themselves and thinking, oh, I want to make some money. I want to make some sales. I want to build a team. I want, I want. But when you become that pitcher, like you're talking about, it's like, what can I do? How much better can I be so I can pour into other people? It's that servant mentality. People don't go to the refrigerator unless they're hungry. And if there's nothing in the refrigerator, they're going to go somewhere else. And right? that's why it's okay. so important for you to be full, for you to be have that, that knowledge, that skill set, so you can give to other people. So give us you know, some of those things that you did that helped you start developing leaders because that's something we watched you do as well. It, it, it's not just you, man. You got a lot of incredible people on your team that have followed your example that are, and, and you didn't develop them. They be, they wanted to be more like you, right? Because of what you are pouring yep. into them. And so what are some things that you did to develop leaders? Cause I don't care whether you're in financial services, whether you want to bring people closer to Christ, whether you want to build an incredible family, uh, no matter what you're doing, leadership is the key. I mean, we're looking at the failure of leadership in our country today and what it's causing, uh, in America. And it's sad, well, you know, there was this post just recently about all these values, you know, you go back 20 years ago and the values that people saw that were important in America today, they've gone down by like 60, 70%. And they're all the core values that make America special.